Hey, what's up, fight fans? Today we are talking about one of the most ambitious plan we have seen from the UFC champion in a long time. Ilya Almedo Topuria has his eyes on something that only a handful of fighters have ever dreamed of: becoming a three-weight world champion in just three years. With his eyes set on dominating the featherweight, lightweight, and even the welterweight divisions, Topuria's confidence is off the charts. But the question is, can he really pull it off? Let's break it down. His insane three-year roadmap to greatness. Topuria made headlines for his unequivocal confidence leading into the UFC 298 title fight with Alexander Volkanovski, and he delivered on all fronts. Now, Topuria has outlined even loftier goals. Whether he will deliver on them remains yet to be seen. Speaking to Adam Catterall on TNT Sports, Topuria laid out his three-year plan to achieve unprecedented heights in the UFC. In the next three years, probably a three-weight world champion, Topuria said. Yeah, this is my goal. You are not gonna see me in this welterweight division like this skinny. You are gonna see me different. Yeah, that's the goal. Move up to the lightweight division, get that belt, and move up to the welterweight division. The current reigning champions at lightweight and welterweight are Islam Makhachev and Bilal Muhammad, respectively. The biggest challenge for Topuria would likely be welterweight, since there is a non-linear jump in weight between lightweight and welterweight. UFC's division typically space each other by 10 pounds, but welterweight is 15 pounds above welterweight, and dominated by large fighters like Ian Gary and Shavkat Rokhmanov. Topuria would be forfeiting up to seven inches in height to some of the division's taller fighters. Lightweight wasn't much of an issue for Alexander Volkanovski, who gave Islam Makhachev his toughest fight to the date at UFC 292. Nor Max Holloway, who is now ranked number five in the division despite challenging for the featherweight crown at UFC 308. Topuria doesn't plan to make mistakes as Volkanovski. However, as he sent a cold warning to Makhachev in the interview, I would make Islam suffer a lot too much. Before targeting other divisions, Topuria must make his first title defense against the one of the greatest featherweight fighters of all time in Max Holloway at UFC 308 on October 26. So, will Topuria's ambitious plan to become three-weight world champion become reality? Or is he biting off more than he can chew? We will have to wait and see how things unfold. And one thing's for sure, Topuria's journey to greatness is going to be must-watch for every UFC fan. Let me know in the comments if you think Topuria can pull off the impossible and become the UFC goat. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more UFC content, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.